We are here with the beautiful Terrane from MIS Alliance. Terrane, I just want to say thank you for allowing us the space. It was a perfect space. We had so much fun out here. You had your whole team out here keeping things alive. Uh, you know, we got this whole thing started because of COVID and we were traveling around trying to get people out and we were doing it safely through all the craziness of COVID and we had people out instead of staring at screens all the time. And now that we've flowed through this, it's, it's still really cool to get everybody out and have that collaboration. So let's just get back to the COVID piece for a second. You know, what was it like for you and your team when COVID first hit? Well, what it is is because we are used to working remotely mm -hmm. when there's like a snowstorm or sure. something. <laughs> so uh, it was not a big deal going remotely. Nice. However, being remote for so long really affected our efficiency and productivity oh. because of collaboration of you know, engineers when they're in the office. Sure. It really makes a difference when you have to pick up the phone and call one person and then the other. So I think that was, uh, you know, what happened with the long-term situation where now we're just back in the office. We just got back on July 7th. Excellent, excellent. So obviously, I mean, I know this about you guys. So obviously you were ahead of the curve because you were already pushing to the cloud. So that helped a bit. Do you feel like after this, you know, the push that... You know, as bad as COVID was, it was also one of the best things that ever happened to an industry, especially our industry, right? Security, yes. cloud, all exactly. got launched into the stratosphere. Yes. Yeah. Did you find that the customers that were pushing back on going to the cloud and working from home started to say, we need this? They are, yes, they're, they realized that, you know, they really needed it. <laughs> and it wasn't that we were trying to sell them something. Right, they needed it. They needed it. And I think they, they got to that realization. After That's good. This, a little yeah. push. And by the way, snowstorms in the Northeast? Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> and I think that, you know, that's a good thing too, right? Because now, before it was, okay, well, if you get a snowstorm, where are you going to work if your office is, you know, snowed in and you can't get to the office and you can't do all these things? Well, now it's a little bit different, right? Because COVID affected affected everybody, everybody right? right there wasn't just one subset so that push really drove that home so are you guys doing anything differently now that you're coming you know we're coming out of it a little bit or at least we think we are coming out of this you know what's different between the beginning when that collaboration stuff was happening and now has anything changed has it been like a, any different pushes or any that di different um you know anything different from a marketing perspective now that you've learned so much with the security and the cloud kind of being launched into the stratosphere yeah we, we are actually um have launched a, uh, a new marketing um, campaign and uh, we're looking at a lot of things from a marketing perspective. Right, and it's, of course it's all about education now, right? Yeah. And you said it perfectly, you know, as MSPs we have to learn to be more prescriptive and we have to start training our customer base, yes. our partners and prospects that we're more like doctors than, than we use car salesmen, right? They, right? they always think it's about when we're trying to push a sale. Well, what we have is what they need. Exactly. And we have to do that. So I love that you touched on that because we really do have to be more prescriptive to rise the whole entire community up right, instead right. of being the people that we looked at as, oh, you guys are just trying to sell me something, which is exactly. not the which, case. Exactly, which is not really the case. <laughs> exactly, that's, that's very true. So, so again, I really want to thank you very much. We had a great food drive, and hopefully that's going to, you know, you guys have a nice uh, group here that you're going to donate all the food to. Yes, the um, Center Street. Center Street? Yeah, food. Nice. Awesome. So that's, and that's great because I definitely know that. And this that's something that was near and dear to my heart because I grew up in Lynn. And I know that during this, the food drive, the food places were just having a real hard time yes. getting food. So I'm glad that you're a part of this and helping me out. I'm glad to be back home a little bit and yeah. be able to do this in Massachusetts. So thank you very much again for your time, your energy, your team, and your space. We really love you guys. You're very welcome. It was, it was um, really a... Um, very nice to have you here and it just turned out to be also yeah. such a nice day. Yeah, I think you called it in. I think you called the favor in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thanks very much. Lovely to see thank you again you. and again, if we do this again, we know we're coming back. Great, thank you very, <laughs> thank much. You very much. Take care. Thanks everyone.